I, when I, the very first day I started, I never was nervous in front of a crowd for some reason, right? Mm-hmm. And as I started working in front of bigger crowds, I felt more comfortable the bigger the crowd for some reason. Yeah. Because yeah. the thing is, like, when you work in front of a big crowd, the bigger the crowd, you're not listening to specific things. Like, yeah. one person can't get on your nerves in a big arena of 10,000 people. When I started working again in front of smaller crowds, I would get more nervous than I was working in front of bigger crowds. <laughs> and I've like That's to this rude. day, I've always been like that. Like, going to indie sometimes, like, I'm not... I don't feel comfortable when I go to Impact and I'm on TV. I feel like absolutely com- like I'm, I feel just you know w- way way more comfortable. So right. I don't I don't know. It's like uh, <laughs> do you feel like that, Conan? When you started? Uh, no, when I started, I would get very nervous because I didn't know what the f- I was doing. But um, <laughs> um, but now I, you know what I do get, and I, and I hate this. I hate like when before I go up, I don't get nervous. I get like ansioso, like anxious. Anxious, yeah. But what I hate is like when I'm about to go up and something happens, and now you got to go on later, where all that energy that you had in you kind of dies, and now you got to pick it up again in an hour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've 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 felt that uh, the first match that I had with Dean in WCW. You know, very excited, very uh, emotional. Um, not to mention that dog, you kept on putting pressure on me. Like, bro, this you got to. F- kill it you gotta kill it bro this is your first match i had no clue when you told me that i was gonna go work with dean and wcw that that my match was gonna be a pay-per-view match i was thinking that okay dark dark match which back then i had no idea what a dark match was but but never thought it was gonna be on live tv but we we got the show at at great american bash in baltimore you know um and that when did you find it when did you find out you were doing that like you thought you were just gonna be there oh that day yeah day of yeah it's like yeah. oh you're part of the pay-per-view I'm like oh <laughs> okay it's all good but, right. but it, again this i felt this even back then and still to this day i get nervous i get anxious uh before the match but as soon as i cross the the gorilla and i'm on and i make contact like all of that shit goes away and then I, I it's a moment of excitement let, let me ask you a question about that ray do you remember when you came back after that match that everybody in the back was gave you guys a standing ovation yes yes i remember walking into the locker room changing where rick and scott and uh luger were at and they kept on like just looking at me like what the f- is this kid doing here you know what <laughs> yeah they that's, had no idea that, who i was right and that's the first and when when rick steiner saw you the first time he's like okay that's that's my mark He's going, I'm going to pick on him. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And Rick, Rick Snyder used to pick on you, me. Who else would he just like pick? Like, were his favorite people? To whoever he wanted to. Who, yeah, who, who, who be right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. But but look look how cool this was. That that uh, that's how Rick was, and and he was uh, throughout the whole uh, WCW days that I spent there. Um, but we we came so close that I remember going hunting. With Rick, yeah, yeah, with you, you and Hoobie, man. right? Boss man, yeah, Hoobie was there. Rick, <laughs> boss man, um, Kurt Henning, and somebody right. else. But listen, listen to this. Who would have thought that? Dominic, wait a minute, <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> Dominic, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, they took this <laughs> hunting. Okay, did you hear all the names he just said? <laughs> yeah. And they put Hoobie up in a tree. Okay, so he could <laughs> warn them, and the. <laughs> fell asleep. No, no, no. I was on the tree, dog. Oh, you are the tree. Yeah, I was on the tree. I posted there. Hoobie was on a on a quad, uh, right where the where the trail is. So it was shrubs and then a, a trail for yeah. quads and then shrubs on the other side of the trail. So they told him stay here because the deers happened to cross this little path. Yeah. He said back like, after an hour or he was bored and he went back to the camp. So eventually we came back. <laughs> And all the deer had crossed where Hoovy was at. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> tremendous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting on.